this girl. What, you can't sleep in the same bed as a girl? I just think it's respectful to his girlfriend. Who I choose to sleep with him, what I choose to do, is totally up to me. I'm so naughty, hey? Oh, it's time to go, Michael. going down memory lane like that. Mm. You found that hard to watch, didn't you? No, well, the first time I saw myself crying when I was had my luggage taken away, I cried because I don't like watching myself cry. No one does. No. Well, yeah. I don't like watching myself cry because I look ugly, but you look, <laughs> you look beautiful. I just look drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would. Now, tell me, what have you been doing since you left the house? Um, well, obviously, I travelled around to all my appearances, which were really fun. Went home to see my mum for 10 days and I'm still scraping by without having to work, so it's all right. So you're having a good time? I'm having a great time. So basically you're partying? Yep. Heaps. In all different cities across the country? Yeah, heaps. So it's gone on for a long time because you left the house a long time oh, ago. I'm really stretching it though. Oh, are you? <laughs> Is it nearly time to I'm go back to work? It, yeah. And are you still working up with your boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you friends? Uh, we sometimes are friends, sometimes we're not. Ah, right, right. uh, I know what that's like. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have you here. Now tell me, what about you, Nelson? Are you still with your girlfriend? Yes, absolutely. Love you... her very much. Love you, Katie. Hello. Sorry. Now, I know that when you come out of the house, there can be all these nightclub appearances and temptations. No, and... it didn't get any nightclub appearances. Oh, didn't you? No, because no, you were must... being punished by the that's whole right. nation, that's were right. you? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> no one wants to give appearances to a liar, but... Uh... No, that's not true. They gave me appearances. Shut up, Constance. <laughs> <laughs> we missed you in the house. I would have loved for you to stay. Maybe next year. Who knows? Can I if try out again? Well, if it's on, I don't see why you couldn't. <laughs> Give it a bash. We're a disguise. Now, what about you, Angela? Your hair looks fantastic. Yes, I've been dyeing my hair, getting a bit groovy. Thank you. <laughs> and what have you been up to? You were our first um, official evictee, weren't you? Thank you. Thank you for reminding me about that, Gretel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, I've ended up doing a radio gig every Monday, doing a gossip update. Surprisingly oh, enough, gossiping about the housemates. Perfect. Yes, I've been doing that, catching up on lots of champagne and friends and just having a ball of a time. You're really having a good time? I am. Great. Now, what about you, Janet? Welcome. Thank now, you. Now, of course, we've seen you on the cover of a magazine, Janet. Now, yes. what else have you been up to? Well, as um, all of the housemates do uh, the appearances, um, so I've had a few extra ones which I've been doing around the place, and um, I think the biggest thing I'm doing is I'm going bungee jumping next weekend in Cairns, so woo, I'm looking forward to that. Is it some sort of state championship? Well, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Depends on how many I can get done in a day. Good luck, yeah. good luck. Now, Michael. Yes, Gretel. How have you been? I'm all right, I'm all right. Now, I noticed during the tap rehearsal you've got a new piercing. Yeah, I've got the back of my neck done. Show, can you show the camera? I mean, it's just the weirdest thing. Can we pick it up? You can see it. OK. <laughs> Is this like the big brother piercing? What inspired it? Or do you just they, want to look like Frankenstein? They said if I did it on stage at a nightclub, I could have it for free. <laughs> Bargain. Wow, there are a lot of things you could do on stage, but that one. Now, I understand. What have you been up to? Nightclubs and having a good time? Yes, I've been having an all right time. All right. Oh, he says that with a naughty <laughs> grin. But I understand you made a new friend the night that you were evicted here. There was a little boy who was dressed as you. I did, there was. There was a little guy dressed up as Mini Mick, a little sick boy. Probably the best thing that happened to me coming out of the house. In what way? And so, um, just seeing that from doing something like this, that you can make a difference, you can actually make someone happy. And that's what you've done. Good on you. Good on For you. For doing nothing. Now, I just have to ask you guys, I know that your journey, well, you probably remembered, reminded of it every single day when you're out in the big wide world, but tonight we're looking at Logan, the Logans and Tim. Do you think it would have been easier or harder having a sibling in the house? Easier. Easier? Yeah. easier. It would have been easier. All right, because these boys started off with rivalry. Let's have a look, see what happened. Mum said that you are really adopted. I'm <laughs> I'm Greg's glad then. I'm glad I'm not your brother. <laughs> Obviously not living with him for a long time. And, uh, there's certain little aspects that I find difficult about it. We pretty competitive. Best win for the day, king of the day, I'm better than you. <laughs> Cricket. 
water skiing, but they're not even play lawn bowls, <laughs> darts, euchre, <laughs> tennis, <laughs> BMX riding, gymnastics. <laughs> you can have that. You, you do all the mental, I'll do all the water skiing. Nah, that's not the one. It's growing up. Like, I've had this one thing to say who's better than who. Which twin, and we always related back to me being um, the Blue House uh, captain and Dave being the vice captain. That's pretty much a step stock to anything that I'm better than Dave. So this was a challenge <laughs> that we thought it could end all bragging rights. Tonight, a Logan is going to be evicted. You, the housemates, will decide who will go. probably made it easier having a sibling in the house. I think it was a little bit hard for Tim when he went in because he seemed to come from another planet to a lot of people in the house. Would you agree? Yes. It was really quite different. Now Michael, I know you commented on the fact that Tim you thought was being bullied in the house. Tim never thought that he was, but did you feel that? Um, if, he, if, he didn't, if he didn't feel it, he wasn't, but I don't know, it just always seemed like the little dude was being picked on. Because he was the little guy. And I know some of the other housemates thought, well, no, that's his way of joining in. What, what did you think? Or were you in and out of the house too quickly to me, think? It <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't last that long. OK, any other comment? Well, you were there for how many weeks, Angela? Yeah, we don't need to recap on how many weeks it was. It was under a month, Gretel, OK? But okay, anyway... Well, actually, we'll find out the precise number of seconds shortly. <laughs> But in that time, though, I think that was a way for Tim to get involved because in the first week it was very quiet. You know, we called him Vampire and Beetlejuice. So then he had to pick it up and he got involved then. So I think that was a good bonding way for him. All right, let's have a look at Tim bonding. By... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> He's willing to put his dignity aside um, to be in front of the cameras. <laughs> They pick on me. The reason they don't pick on me is because I'm bigger than. <laughs> it's one of the fundamental rules of Big Brother that housemates may not intimidate, threaten, or act violently towards each other. <laughs> to be quite frank with you, those things that Big Brother's observed, um, I wouldn't have. If there was a weasel that looked like Elvis, you, that's what you'd look like. I've enjoyed, you know, robust interactions with people. Thanks for that. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. the shape, aren't you? I see a lot of those things as being affectionate and fun, and I don't think you play jokes on people of the nature that have been played on me unless that person's comfortable with it. And I've been complicit in a lot of those things because I enjoy the attention. Oh, Sorry to have to say this, Angela, but to the first five housemates to leave the house. Now, in a matter of minutes, we'll be sharing some more magical moments with 13 more of our Big Brother housemates. I wonder who they think should be the winner of Big Brother 2005. They're going to recap. Oh, really? Oh, man. so beautiful that when I wake up, my hair looks fantastic. <laughs> well, I don't think our housemates will be sleeping right now, and if they were, this crowd would have given them a wake-up call. Welcome back. You're watching the Big Brother Grand Finale. Now, we've already caught up with our first five evictees of this year. Let's meet the next six. They brought romance to the house, tall tales, and indeed scandal. Would you please welcome Michelle, Rachel, Geneva, Glenn, Heath and Hot Dogs. 